That last video was 170 gigs before I uh, was able to render it. Hey everyone, Depressed Dior here, Card Hunter, let's continue. This one I'm going to definitely break into two parts because of this part right there. Six dramatic battles. Alright, Lord Batford's Manor. Lord Batford, a rich and eccentric from Shieldhaven, is rumored to keep a collection of priceless art in his house. Can you survive long enough to find it? You'll get the Ring of Appropriation, which gives you telekinesis, telekinesis, and improved telekinesis. Alright, I'll see about splitting this in between uh, three battles each and uh, going from there. Alright, this is a level 14 adventure. We're level 15. We should be good to go. <laughs> hey, Gary, can I GM this one? You look a bit sleepy. You can do with a break. What? Uh, sure, I'm not conf confident with this adventure, so perhaps you could show me how to run it. And would you like a chip? Oh, okay. ketchup? That's, uh, thanks, Gary, but no. Okay, let's get into character. Oh, sorry, I've left my FPS meter on again. Alright, Servant's Quarters. Glancing at the smuggled map of Lord Batford's manor house, you dash across the yard and pop the lock on a servant's side door. At first, all is quiet as you slip inside, but a servant spots you and cries out loudly at your entrance. Soon the Servant's Quarters are astir and the low-life thugs and Lord Batford's imply move to dispose of the intruders. Kind of have an idea of what we're going to be fighting against, and it's probably something I don't enjoy fighting. Yep, servants and mercenaries. Wonderful. And now we're dealing with marksmen, too. Yeah. Okay, so this Batford guy is like Prince John, and you're like Robin Hood. Yay, Karen stuff. Alright. Definitely for these battles, you want to kill the servants. Because not killing the servants is not a, not smart at all. So, let's um, get line of sight right there. Guard. That means I lost all the guards. And now I'm going to get hit with about a bazillion attacks. Wonderful. Luckily there's two of them. So tell you what. Up guard, raise alarm. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Alright. Launching hack. That's one down. Not sure what to think about those uh, marksmen. I could try cycling. What's uh, demonic feedback here? Yeah. Early before I die. Piercing missile. Seven range, four penetrating. That hurts. Alright, well one thing I can do is push you away. Okay, one thing I can do is not put push you away. Good, you parried. Alright. Everyone's taking their action? Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and Elvish Insight. One of the block, that's fine. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just pelt him with magic. As much as I can. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move you up. I got escaping run and jump backs. I'm going to heal myself, which is a cantrip, and then I pass turn, which means we get to go first next turn. Um, yes, go ahead and move up one. one another one down. Okay, walls of fire are up. Let's go ahead and get Unholy Frenzy up and running. You didn't even move, that's good. How's your health? Okay, you're still alive. I 
the question is... Alright, you might have to move. I'm a little worried about that. Alright. Well, one thing you do is kill him. What's the range of this? It's eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a lot of wasted movement. Okay, I'm right now out of range, but that's fine. I can go ahead and cantrip that again. And I'm actually just short of my movement, which kind of sucks. Because of ah, I didn't. Mi I misclicked. Awesome. I wanted to click up here, and it didn't do that. Also, all of these attacks seem to be piercing, which is fantastic. Let's see if I can get you moving. Okay, you're not moving. Done. I call that a deal. Take the hit, that's fine. Strong chop, unholy frenzy. Okay, first battle over. Not too bad. Leaving behind the defeated riffraff, you can again consult your map. The shortest route to Batford Sanctuary leads through this kitchens. Junk. That's not bad. But I have better. Alright, take all. The servant's dispatch, you hasten through narrow corridors and emerge into the, Lord, the, into the Lord's kitchen. Bedford's personal chef, the famous Garcoto, raises an enormous cleaver as you enter. An enormous dog growls at his side, on guard, and bon appetit. Two servants, war dog, and... Oh. Chef Gar uh, Garcoto, it, he was once badass, but a lifetime of eating his own produce has dulled his martial vinegar. Okay, kill the servants. Especially if you're dealing with uh, solo units like this dog and this she uh, chef. Because, quite frankly, you don't want these guys to have more than one attack. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and do Unholy Frenzy on you. Clumsy. Cowardly. Alright, one thing we can do. Walk that out. That's annoying. Well, I'll go ahead and do a step move then. Okay, the servants are actually out of movement. Interesting. Okay, that's a little worrying. 
Oh great, this dog's gonna eat me. Well, before I die, I'll go ahead and freaking burn you alive. Yeah. Very annoying. But at the very least, we get to kill that servant. Okay. I have, uh... Deal with Mr. Doggy here. No, I don't want to do that. Actually, I can do this. Go ahead, jump back. It doesn't matter. I really don't like jump back cards. They don't seem to work very well, in my opinion. Staggering chop. That was a new card. Choose up to two different uh, targets for this attack. Target discards their oldest card. So you maybe discard a movement card. Okay. And he has another attack card already prepared. I'm going to go ahead and do Elvish Mobility. Well, that's a lot of chops. You have served, uh, served up to, uh, to your opponents a steamy helping of better defeat. You hope that the noise of the, your battles ha hasn't been heard elsewhere in Batford's spacious mansion. <laughs> Treasure junk. And stuff I already have. Gotcha. Take all. Lower halls. With Garkoto and company down for the count, you consult your map, plotting a new course for Batford's inner sanctum. But now the mansion has been been raised in arms against you, and an otherwise in innocuous hallway becomes a deadly trap. A pair of house guards moves to attack. Okay. Servants, mercenary, and hardy mercenary. Both of them are single. Okay, you're in a tight spot here, but don't worry. One of the figures just flew off the table. Weird, huh? All right. Drop the card, drop the card. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you alone. Oh. How very kind of you. It's back. And deal with you first. There. Okay. All right. 
turn you around. My, oh, you're dead. <laughs> Got that far. I could try using fire spell, but I'm gonna go ahead and hold that, hold that off for now. In fact, I'm gonna actually go back a little bit. Okay, so we've already lo we took care of the servants. Oh, thank you. I forgot about slippery. Pass turn again. Wait, wait, you seriously pass turn again? And my frame rate's dying again. That's fine. I don't care. Pass yeah. turn. I will happily let you get, get yourself killed. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and discard our attack cards. That's fine. Go ahead and discard the Shimmering Aura because we don't need it. And we'll hold on to that. Slippery. And they're nearly dead already. Seriously. Ah, <sighs> wonderful. Yay, I parried. Alright. That's what I figured. Okay, he blocked that, that's fine. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here... Where can you move? Fine, I'll take your hit. Ah, you bastard. Fine. I was hoping to trap him. turn. There we go. We must be getting closer for Batford to be committing well-armed guards against you. Onward and upward. Uh, quick, quick foot, foot buckler. Not too bad. And Winds of War is not bad. Alright, well. I guess I'll go ahead and... I'll go ahead and call this a video. And when we come back, uh, we will continue with the second half of the Batford's uh, mansion. So until then, I'm the Depressed Dealer. This was Card Hunter. See you guys later.